Hello and welcome to Flutex. You have been asking me to make a tutorial on how to use After Effects in Composite. So today the day we create this underwater effect inspired by Animography, a word on a week on a, a word a week project, and this is week 18 called Change. So this is not gonna be like a complex tutorial where I add everything from the start like I used to do. So I'm trying this new method where I just break down how I achieved the effect itself by breaking down the effects I used. So here we have like a solid uh, shape that is scaled a little bit. You can see the scale right here. Then what I did is just adding a gradient ramp. What this does, it gives you two colors, one in the bottom and one on the top, as you can see. And I just changed the colors to the colors of the main composition right here. Composition right here. Then what I did to achieve the lights right here that you can see, the lights that comes from the sun to the sea, the bottom of the sea. So I used an effect called CC Light Rays. So what I did is just add the effect and put it on the line right here on the edge. Because if you put it in the middle, it's going to give you like a spotlight. And when you get it out of the box slightly, it gives you these light rays, as you can see. Then what I did is just animate the center to go from the left to the right. As you can see here. Then what I did is just duplicate the same effect three times and gives me like this uh, effect. It's just an effect that the only thing that moves is the center of the anchor point. And uh, to achieve this effect where it's like slightly on the C and it's not over a scene like this we just add a fast blur that gives it like uh, an underwater effect and I change it to horizon and vertical and keep 19 to 30 blur radius and intuition then the best part is to have a turbulent displace this will give you this like the, the water effect like that you see in real life, as you can see. Do you see this? When you disable it, when you enable it. I just put it on vertical displacement instead of turbulence, because turbulence is... You can use this one, but I prefer it. And I added an amount of 300 and size 80. Then I just animated the evolution to add an expression, we just uh, Alt click on the stopwatch and we add times, times 100. This will make it move. Then to pop the effect out so it's like more colorful because now it's like washed out, I added an uh, effect called level and I just increased the uh, input black right here. It was zero and I increased it to 9000. Then what I added is just something that I like. It's noise on 100% without uh, the color noise. It just gives it a slightly animation effect. And that's it. And it's all about like the turbulent displays and fast blur. If you disable them, look. 
the effect is so bad. It all depends on the fast player and the turbulent displays. So that's it for this uh, tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to like and subscribe for more stories like this and make a suggestion in the comment section below so I can make a tutorial whenever you want. And you can download the project file from my Patreon. Link also in the description and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.